How's my quad squad doing? It's the man, the myth, the legend, quad MFT here, and today I'm going to be doing a live commentary with the ASM1 Elite Strider, which is actually, I'm going to say, the lesser preferred Elite version of the ASM1 right here of the Speakeasy, but over here I have the ASM1 Strider, and I'm going to show you guys my class setup for this gameplay that I just did with you guys, but you haven't seen it yet, I, I did it, and now I'm doing this, so uh, the attachments that I have are suppressor, quick draw, foregrip, now the foregrip on the ASM1 Strider is so needed, it's not even funny, it's not funny at all, you'd you need it. The accuracy is minus three on this elite version, so you need it. Then we have lightweight, low profile, peripherals, toughness, scavenger, UAV with the uh, customizations, extra time, speed, and threat detection, which I like to think are actually uh, the better versions of the customizations, the modules on the on the UAV. And then is my wild cards, all three. I have the wild card primary gunfighter, perk one greed and perk three greed. And then also I wanted to tell you guys to make sure if we could try and hit 300 likes on this live commentary, that would be phenomenal because I asked for 300 on yesterday's video, and this time we actually get over 300. So that would be awesome. So hopefully you guys get ready and enjoy the live commentary. How's my quad squad? It's the man, the myth, the legend, quad MFT here. Bring you guys an advanced warfare live commentary using the ASM1 Strider with foregrip, quick draw, and suppress you guys saw earlier as the class setup. The reason I mention that is because a lot of you guys probably have heard of the ASM1 Strider and know it as like the really, really not accurate version of the... Oh, that's an enemy. Wow, okay, I had no clue. As the really, really not accurate version of the ASM-1, which it really is because it only has, uh, only, what am, what am I going to say? It only has, or it has, minus three accuracy, which is actually horrible. It really messes with the recoil. And we all know how good foregrip is in advanced warfare. Like, it's really good. There's a double for you right there, but it's really good. And even with, for I thought I knifed him. Even with foregrip, it still has a ton of recoil, which is really annoying. But I'm going to try it out because I think the, the ASM1 Strider is actually pretty good. That guy's way too far to use with the Strider or the Speakeasy. I mean the ASM1 in general. Let's see if I can pick him off. No chance. My aim is way too off for that. <laughs> I'm not even going to try and challenge him over there. There's somebody in here though. Biolab is pretty fun in TDM actually because it's not that large. But I do have the Suppressor on the ASM1 which I normally don't. I put it on because I had low profile on. I really should have blast suppressor on, but I want scavenger toughness. But I'm gonna try and like sneak around. Oh, goodness, give me the double, man! I I feel like I'm I'm getting kind of cheated out of my double kills or my kills in general right now. I just don't know why that's happening. Oh, he didn't even see me. Give me the double. This really feels like the UMP45 for Modern Warfare 2. Like extremely like it with the suppressor. A little bit more recoil because the UMP45 for Modern Warfare 2 barely had any. But, you know, I, I'd, I'd still think say that it feels like... Is he up there? He, he was just on the radar. Maybe he's in here. Nope. Oh, this guy wants to die. There he is. All right, if I can build up to a UAV, I'm going to be able to cycle through them very, very easily. All right. There's got to be some people coming around. I never really rocked the suppressor on the SM1, but I thought, why not? What is that guy doing? <laughs> how, do, how, how am I not killing him? Wow. A, a lot of you guys probably prefer the ASM-1 Speakeasy over the ASM-1 Strider. But, you know, I, I wanted to try it out because I haven't really uploaded a lot of videos with this variant. Because, you know, it's not really the favorite one. And you guys obviously would much prefer to see Speakeasy gameplay because the Speakeasy is freaking dominant. But, I'm not going to let that guy get away. There we go. Pick up the UAV so I can start to cycle. Oh, there's two guys in here. One... Give me the second. Oh, nope. Where is he? I hate it when people are up there. No, no, no. Oh, okay, I, the reason I, I feel like I died right there is because my sensitivity was way too low. I'm on a three. I normally play on a five. Okay, I finished him off. But I... All right, all right. I, I feel like this this is just not going very well. Like, I mean, it's doing okay. I'm 16 and six. Definitely a good score line. But just, I feel like I could be doing a lot better. Just a lot, a lot better. Partially because this, the Strider... Oh, okay. Okay, I don't know why I died right there. I mean, I do know why I died, but I, I just wish I didn't. Let's see. I, I see all these people on my threat detection. One. Two. Is that another? Oh, that is another. Three. Look at that triple feed. Earlier, I got a five on screen with the speakeasy. That was freaking phenomenal. I wish I would have been doing a live commentary. I was recording, but I didn't save it. So, whoa. I thought that was a friendly one. I should have listened. I just walked out there in the middle. Looks like we're probably going to get this W. My team's doing alright and I'm doing fairly well, so. If I go out here, I feel really weak. Because I have the speakeasy. I mean, because I have the ASM. Oh, let me get away. 
Oh, there's so many out there. Yeah, so I would suggest you guys, if you have the ASM-1 Strider, to try it out. It's definitely a good gun. It's not as good as the Speakeasy. It's still like an elite version of the ASM-1, so it's still fairly good. But like, that range, I have no chance of killing that guy. Like, the recoil is too heavy. It's just not accurate. Look at that. Like, I mean, even at that range, like, even at this range, I'm kind of uh, very doubtful. But like, right here, look at that. He almost had the chance to turn on me. That guy almost killed me. Oh, he did kill me. He ended up killing me because he was jumping. And I just was not ready. I just can't keep up. Oh, and they scramble my UAV. Oh, he's going to push me. Or he should. Whoever threw that grenade. Maybe it was a random one. Maybe I'm going to be okay. KF5 Breakneck. This is a really good elite version of the KF5. I'm going to use this. Nobody's in there. I really need my UAVs up. Or at least my... Radar in general. What are you doing? <laughs> At least my radar in general. Oh, there's. I saw those two guys. Somebody in here? What is that? What? I got RW1. Oh, I got railgun, man. We're we're still winning, so I'm okay with this. But I I got railgun. This is not going too well. The strider. Oh, give me the knife. Yeah, let's go, baby. Or the punch. Excuse me. Let me get him. Three hit markers? I think the suppressor is uh, not doing very well. Maybe I should try advanced rifling on this thing. I think I may really need it. Oh, two guys. One. Oh, and I got him with the headshot. But I got shot in the back, probably by the breakneck. It was for sure by a KF5. Let me get that last kill, and let's go with the drop shot, baby. I would have gotten that double kill right there. I knew I was ready, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Go out and try out the ASM-1 Strat if you haven't. It's a good gun. It's not the greatest. It does not nearly compare to the Speakeasy. Make sure to subscribe and join the Quad Squad. We're closing in on 60,000 subscribers. It's been Quad MFT. Again, drop a like down below. It really does mean a lot to me. 26-12, that's okay. It's been Quad MFT, and I'm out of 5,000.